Si Magbalikan, Sir, yes, Sir, uh, Sir, Sir uh, Jingoy. Kay uh, former Governor Tevez, according to uh, Madam Tison, uh, meron daw kay private army, is it true? I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. At yung, in fact, kanina, I was listening, yung nasabi ni ma'am na yung lawyer doon na namatay several years back outside the court, he was my uncle. He was the brother of my father's sister. Attorney Elisteria, just for the record. Brother of your, he is the husband of the sister of my 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 father, my uncle. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You you want to say something, uh, Mayor Digamo? Please. Go ahead. Sir, um, the brother of Attorney Elisteria is supposed to be here today. Had he not been stroke, na hiwi iyang baba ng good sir, he failed to join, but he was supposed to be here. Okay. Yes, that's why I am saying that it is true what uh, uh, governor, former Governor Tebe said na magka-relative sila. Pero totoo po na may reklamo din sa pamilya nila ang kapatid ni Attorney Elisteria. Okay, that's uh, duly noted. Ma'am, alam mo, marami pa kayo ha? Uh, uh, may gusto ka pa idagdag para Mr. Chairman, yes. if, if I may before uh, long, before, before Mr. Chairman, thank you, thank you. Kasi, Mr. Chairman, I've been getting a lot of calls, especially from our good friend, our uh, fraternity brother, si uh, Congressman uh, Bong Teves. Just wanted to put again on record, medyo wawa din naman kasi nagpunta rin siya ng Korea, eh, official visit, Mr. Chairman. Just to put on record, and again, uh, let me reiterate, Hindi po si Congressman Bong Teves ang ating pinag-uusapan. Congressman Arnie Teves, yung binanggit din po natin kanina sa pagdinig na nakita uh, several times, April 13 and April 14, doon sa Korea, doon sa hotel na binanggit natin, malapit sa Myeongdong, eh mismong si Congressman Arnie Teves. Hindi po si Congressman Bong Teves. Iba po yun, dalawa po yung... Uh, Tebes kasi na pinag-usapan. Nakakalungkot lang ho kasi ang dami yung nagte-text sa kanya daw. Akala daw po siya na eh, galing, nagkataon pa na, na, na nagpunta po siya sa Korea noong mga time po niya. As an official uh, trip po ng House of Representatives. So, is just put on record. Partilista? Partilista, partilista TGP. Uh, TGP. Uh, Mr. President. Taugawa. Yeah. He's our uh, fraternity brother. Yes, Mr. President. Mr. Chairman, thank but you. But still, this Congressman Tebes. Yes, still but not, the, but not Arnie Tevez not that Tevez. we talked about this morning, Mr. Chairman, before, uh, before uh, well, this morning, Mr. Chairman, yeah. time check is 3.11. Thank you for We're that clarification. Here. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Just to put it later. Record, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, uh, para matapos yung sa side mo. Para... Uh, itanong ko lang kay Mayor Tevez. Oh, ex-Mayor, pwede. Sa akin, sa akin, sa akin tanong mo. Yung, eh, anong ginawa niya during his administration, yung mga various killings sa Bayawan City? Mga? Mga ginawa, mga, anong mga investigasyon na ginawa niya, ginawa niya during, oh, during his administration? Na siya ang mayor? Yeah, na siya ang mayor sa mga killings. Mga killings? Oh. Mga ilang killings yung alam mo? Ay, dami. Marami? Da mga dami. ilan? Mga number? Uh, estimate? Mga Kasi mahirap yung magtanong uh, tayo ng 50, abstract question 50, dito sa ating resource least, person. More or least 50. 50? Oh, yes. Bayawan? Yes. Bayawan, Santa Catarina. Ah. Honorable Lai Henry Tevez, uh, uh, well, you can respond to that if uh, you want to. Uh, around 50 killings happened in Bayar Bayawan during, during your uh, term as uh, mayor. And uh, do, you, do you would like to know what did you do with I that? I cannot uh, with respond the to that, sir. But this is I what I am sure of that I did during my six years. I gave su full support to the PNP, and I increased the number of CCTVs all around Bayawan City from about a mere thirty to about one hundred fifty. That's also the reason why now during the latest incident, the authorities were able to make extensive use of those. Uh, uh, CCTVs I placed 
and I made sure that Bayuan City had all the motorcycles, radio equipment, uh, everything that the PNP wanted as far as the Bayuan City Police Force is concerned. Yeah, as far as the Bayouan resolution of those alleged 50 well, killings. Kasi, as uh, Mayor Kaman, sir, di ba, hindi yeah. naman ikaw ang nagsusolve ng kaso. There's, there, there are policemen, there are law enforcement, there's NBI also in Bayouan. What you can do as mayor is support them and make sure they're well-funded. Then they, when they need resources, logistics, everything, they have it during the time that they need it. Yes, uh, as far sorry, as mayor. But, but is it true that during your tenure as mayor of uh, Bayawan, there were 50 killings? 50? Okay. Uh, According to <laughs> Madam T. Well, this is the only what I can say as mayor of Bayawan, sir. Uh, you should know because you were the mayor. I don't Tama think so. Eh, mayor din tayo. Kaya, I don't think so. I, sa, I don't think so. In fact, when I was mayor, sir, for two years, I was a regional finalist and a national semi-finalist for Dangal ng Bayan, and I had my Seal of Good Governance Award, and for six years, no, I never what, had any single what about, what about COA the, audit. What about the crime rate during your term? Uh, sir, Does I think the PNP can answer that. Kung, kung tumaas ba yung crime rate sa six years na nadun ho ako at anong ginawa ko. I think they're, they're much better positioned. Yeah, sir. I think uh, uh, right. mo ako eh. the director of CDG is uh, raising his hand. Meron ka bang alam dyan about the during the term of uh, Honorable TV sa Mayor of Bayawan. Alam ka ba kung ilan ang namatay doon at uh, ano nangyari? Uh, Mr. Chairman, sir, uh, with your permission, uh, could I present my compliance to you, sir, to present the political killings in Negros Oriental, sir, so that this body could have an appreciation and, and have an idea what is the real peace and order situation in Negros Oriental, sir. Mas maganda. Uh, hinto muna natin sila individually. Merong overall picture na i-represent yung si IDJ. Uh, you have the floor. Pakinggan right. muna natin na uh, yung si IDJ, meron tayong buong picture bago tayo mag-dissect into uh, separate independent incidents yung overall picture muna. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, sir. Uh, go ahead. Yung EVP natin, could you uh, But uh, still, tanungin natin yung PNP, yes, yung record nila. During, yes, sir. Kasi yung allegation nila, more than 50. That's, that's, uh, that's very uh, nakakatakot na number yan. Pa-confirm natin sa PNP. Kung totoo yan para officially, uh, meron tayong records kung totoo yan na nangyari. Yes, sir. I will just make pass with my presentation, sir. Yeah, so, I will forgo with the... In, sir. sir, my presentation uh, uh, will basically will be part in two parts. Uh, first, about the basic information about Negro Sorital and the shooting incidents, victimizing elected government official in the province of Negro Sorital from calendar year 2016 to March of this year. Next slide, please. Make pass. Sir, uh, Negros Oriental has a total land area of 5.42, 5,420 square kilometers and inhabited by almost 1.5 million Negresses Negris, as per 2020 census. Politically, the province is subdivided into three districts, six cities with Dumaguiti as the capital, 19 municipalities and 515 barangays with police to population ratio of 1,800. Negros Oriental registered a total crime volume of 2,677 for calendar year 2022 broken down as 556 index crimes and non-index crimes translating into an average monthly crime rate of 16. Likewise, in the first quarter of this year, Negros Oriental, Negros Oriental registered a total of 675 crime incidents, respectively with the same average monthly crime rate of 16. Next slide. In order for us to have the same understanding, some terminologies which, will I, which I will be mostly using in this presentation, 
will be defined based on the existing PNP and NAPOLCOM policies. First, the EGO, which means elected government officials. Solved case. A case shall be considered solved when the following elements concur as shown on the screen. When the offender has been identified, there is a sufficient evidence to charge him. The offender has been taken into custody. Ito po yung pinaka-importante kung nahuli yung offender and the offender has been charged before the prosecutor's office or the court of appropriate jurisdiction. Cleared case. A case shall be considered cleared when at least one of the offenders has been identified. There is a sufficient evidence to charge him and he has been charged before the prosecutor's office or any other court of appropriate jurisdictions. Next slide, please. Record show from...